Unit 1 Inspiration Reading A Patriotism Nanaji, what is patriotism? asked Ajit. It means going to jail like Gandhiji and Chacha Nehru or dying for your country like Bhagat Singh, explained his sister Naina. Yes, Naina, you are right. But it also means a lot more. To be a patriot, one need not die or go to jail. One can show one's love for one's country in many small ways, Nanaji said. How? By loving its culture and its people. Do you remember, Rajit, on 26th after the Republic Day parade, a tune was being played? Yes, Nanaji. As soon as the tune started, you stood and continued standing till the end. Do you know what the tune was? I know, Nanaji, Nana said. It was our national anthem, Jana Gana Mana. Good, but do you know why I got up and stood to attention? No, Nanaji. Why? As a mark of respect to the national anthem. And unfortunately, I was the only one to do so. Your father continued to read the paper and your mother went on with her conversation on the phone. Earlier, in the cinema halls, at the end of the movie, the national anthem was played. But it was found that the people used to leave the hall midway, laughing, shouting and creating a racket. The government then decided to stop playing of the national anthem. The reason why I gave you this example is to explain to you that a person's patriotism can be reflected in simple day-to-day -day things like his respect for his language, his nation's anthem or flag and above all the love for his fellow countrymen. Nanaji, I still don't understand. I thought patriotism was all about dying for one's country or making a big sacrifice. Yes, Beta, you're right. It is about big things, but also little ones too. And remember, it is not the battlefield alone which produces patriots. In the battlefield of life too, you will find many martyrs. Okay, let me tell you a story which will help you understand better. Yahoo! Nanaji, tell me a story about dragons and dinosaurs, shouted Ajit. No, Ajit, I'll tell you a story about real people and their real problems, but not today. This Sunday, I'll take you for a picnic to a small village around 100 kilometers from here. We'll spend the day there and return by night. On Sunday, Nanaji, Naina and Ajit started very early for their picnic. They took the first train to the village Himapet. Two and a half hours later, they found themselves at a tiny dusty railway station. They got down and stepped outside. A large well-built man wearing a white dhoti and kurta and sporting a huge turban greeted them with folded hands. He led them to a bullock cart and much to Ajit's delight lifted and placed him on the cart. The cart trundled on for almost an hour till they finally reached the village. They alighted in front of a large brick house. An elderly man and a woman came out greeting Nanaji and fussing over the kids. They spoke in a dialect which Naina and Ajit found difficult to understand. 
an hour later after they had their breakfast nana ji took them to a huge peepal tree where there was a platform they sat down and nana ji started his story around 10 years ago there was a young man whose name was akash he was studying to be a doctor after he completed his mbbs he worked hard and won a scholarship to usa he got his masters degree and decided to come back along with him 10 of his friends had also gone for higher studies to america they all stayed back but akash returned akash's father was not very happy with his son's decision he was very proud that his son had got a foreign degree he wanted his son to make america his home earn a lot of money and finally invite his parents and sister also to settle down in america but akash was adamant my country has spent thousands of rupees in educating me i have to repay this debt the only way i can do it is by serving the people here and moreover india and its villages need good doctors far more than rich countries like america what happened nana ji did akash come back to india yes child he did in the beginning he worked in a government hospital in the city a year later an epidemic broke out in the nearby villages when akash learnt about that he just packed his bags and left he didn't even inform his parents why asked ajit because they would have stopped him silly in science i have studied that during epidemics sometimes the doctors who are treating the patients also die nana said yes nana is right anyway a week later akash's father got a postcard from him saying that he was busy treating the patients and that the situation was very grim but akash did not mention where exactly he was fearing that his father would land up and try to drag him back two weeks later his father received a phone call saying that akash had been admitted in the city hospital in a serious condition his parents rushed to see him he was in a very bad state he could barely speak why are you torturing yourself as well as us son his father asked him while his mother started sobbing i can't help it father i can't bear to see people suffer your friends are enjoying life in america earning lots of money and living in comfort and look at you here fighting for your life I can't understand what you're getting by doing all this. If you don't care about yourself, at least spare a thought for your poor mother. Just see her condition. She has gone half mad worrying about you. Father, I don't think I'll ever be able to convince you about my actions. All I can say is that I have the satisfaction that i have been able to save so many lives forgive me if i have tortured you but but please try to understand that i could not help it i can't watch people dying all around me and not do anything after battling for a month akash died in his mother's arms the entire village was there at his cremation and there was not even one eye which was dry the villagers decided to pay homage to akash they launched a drive to collect donations 
for building a small hospital in the village. They approached the local MLA who agreed to organize a hefty donation thinking that the hospital would be named after him. However, the villagers were adamant. They took the money, built the hospital and called Akash's parents for the opening ceremony. Akash's father inaugurated the hospital. Come, I want to show you something, Nanaji said. And taking their hands in his, he led them to a building, a few hundred meters behind the people tree. They stopped in front of a blue board. Nana, please read what is written. Akash Memorial Hospital, in memory of Dr. Akash Rai, who saved this village from death. Naina looked at her grandfather. His eyes were wet with tears. Nanaji, Akash Rai, but your surname is also Rai. Was he your? Yes, my child. He was my son, your mother's elder brother. As a professor of philosophy, I always thought I knew everything about everything. But my son taught me the true essence of the term service and the real meaning of the word patriotism. <laughs>